this is a small town yeah. up there in Carroll County and still distraught over the loss of two of their own. In fact, our Eyewitness News reporter Emily Longnecker tonight continues our team coverage in Delphi with how people there continue to cope with the loss of Abby and Libby. Emily. John and Andrea, people here in Delphi are cautious tonight about saying too much of anything. Many of them knew these two young girls and they know their families and they are just finding it still very difficult to talk about what happened. On the outskirts of town, though, where police found the two teens' bodies, people are talking, sharing their disbelief and anger. Against the beauty of the sunshine and bright blue skies Wednesday, it was still hard for Ron Logan to believe the violence visited upon two young teens just out for a hike on a day off from school. Who would have thought they'd let their children out to do something special that day, take a trip down and it turn out with a, a disaster like this? For 53 years, Logan's lived on the country road near the trail that leads to the Monon High Bridge. People walk up and down with their, their children and... Yeah, it, it's, it's quite a nice little trail on the bridge. Never, though, has Logan seen anything like what he has this week, the search for an eventual discovery of the bodies of Libby German and Abby Williams. The area that they were in is very hard to get to. I mean, you, you, you can't get there unless you walk there. I mean, so somebody would be walking with them or something. Those are the same kind of thoughts Marvin Sandifer keeps mulling over. His daughter used to hike the same trail. She said, I've seen a couple of scruffy looking guys back in there, but, you know, they never bothered me. They, they went on their way. Sandifer is anxious for investigators to identify a suspect. I'm not really scared. I'm just worried that, that uh, it would happen again. That's why he hopes someone knows or saw something on that trail Monday and can lead investigators down the right path soon. I hope they catch him tonight, and I hope they make him pay. And with the release tonight of the picture of that unknown man seen walking on the trail Monday afternoon, people here are hoping investigators are that much closer to discovering who is responsible for taking these two young lives. John, Andrea. All right. Thank you. Emily Longnecker in Delphi tonight.